Twice a year, we invite our clients in and host an MMP roundtable. It's a great time to share best practices, meet fellow colleagues, and be inspired by like-minded individuals. Our spring roundtable was exceptionally exciting. We started off this year's roundtable with a fun round of Retail Jeopardy, just to get everybody thinking about what's happening in retail in terms of statistics and learning, and also who's who in the room. We then moved on to hosting a session on microbursts of learning. And then the closing of the day brought one of our colleagues and friends, Kevin Finnegan, who shared some words of wisdom with us. Kevin is one of the most inspiring leaders I've ever met. He has such a passion for developing people and he took time out to share with the group his thought process and his inspiration on what's happening in the field. Interesting, I've been in this business a long time and I've spent, I can't even tell you how many years, how many malls I've visited, strip centers, lifestyle centers, and it always comes back to one thing. Um, you can walk into a store and literally within two minutes, you know whether it's going to be a good visit or not. You can feel it, it's in the DNA of that building. And it always goes back to the leadership team, not just the store manager, but the rest of the leadership team. What they believe in, the culture that they've established in there within the four walls of their store, and the value that they put in their organizations. To me, it's always about taking the organizational chart and turning it upside down. I view it that I work for my stores, my district managers work for stores, the other regionals work for stores and it's not the other way down. It's not the silo where all the information and direction comes from headquarters and it's about the stores initiated. I view our jobs as, as field people overseeing a group of stores as how do we make it better? How do we make it easier? How do we help people be in a position to be the absolute best that they can be at their jobs and be as successful as possible? I can't tell you the number of times over the years I've seen a store that was not performing you make a management change and it almost immediately gives you as much as a 10 or a 15 point improvement. Same building, same merchandise, same location. The one thing that's changed is the leader at the helm. And that's that person's ability to rally a team behind them. But I do believe that we can take technology and technology is not gonna be the answer. Technology is gonna to add to the experience in the stores. At the end of the day, it's gonna come back to what is the quality and the caliber of the people that you have on the floor? What have they been charged to do? And how do they use that technology to give that customer a seamless experience? Being part of a group like this is amazing. We see the benefits of having people that are like-minded who really feel passionate about the people that they are creating their training for and how they get the benefits from that. It's inspiring to see colleagues and friends come together in a mutually beneficial environment. We always find it so inspiring to be part of a group that knows the benefits of investing in their associates. If you're interested in attending one of our future events, you can contact us through our MMP Roundtable community on LinkedIn.